I need to practice with Wright-Patterson Mahjong rules. Since I don't get to play very often, it takes me a while to find a hand to play. So I want to try to test my speed with decision making through the Charleston. My goal is to make decisions in under two minutes as an average. If you have a Mahjong set at home, give this exercise a try, especially if you like to play in tournaments. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have all my tiles out. They've been mixed, and I have a stopwatch up here so that we can track the time. I'm going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints, and then laps two and four will be set up. Let's roll for prevailing before we do the first sprint. I rolled a seven, and seven would be west. There's west. We're just going to say we're the dealer, so I'm going to get 14 random tiles. And now I will create a mock Charleston. And we'll do sprint one. Here we go. Okay, we have mostly cracks. We do have honors though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six honors. Oh, I wish I had more. I'm gonna hold the honors. Let's let's play. Let's see, seven, eight, nine now. Let's play cracks or honors. Cracks and honors. Okay, we have two to pass. We have to pick. So we have two, three, seven, nine. I think we should play honors. Let's give up one of the cracks. Let's give up the seven. No, let's give up the two. I don't want to pass like numbers. Oh my goodness, look at that. Cracks and honors. Oh my goodness. Maybe we could play. We have a pair here of, of nine cracks though. I want to play honors. I want to leverage that pair. There's a pair there. Oh my goodness, I don't want to pass one of each suit though. Okay, let's go ahead and pass these three. Let's play one suit. There's a five and a north and a six. Okay, so we have, I'm thinking dazzle or no, no, no. Actually, we might be able to play, well, we have any number of t things that we could play, including Betty. Betty is a pair hand, number seventeen on page, pa or number eight on page seventeen. Three pairs in one suit, no terminals with seven odd honors. Look at all these. We could even still play an honor hand and get rid of these later. But I'm thinking probably we're closest to Dazzle. Dazzle is number seven on page seventeen. Five pairs in one suit with red, white, and green dragon and one dragon paired. Actually, we're probably, let's just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine towards Betty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine towards honors and terminals. Okay, if you would have done something differently, write sprint one and what you would have done. But I think we're in between Dazzle, Betty, or a hand of honors. Okay, let's do sprint two. Oh, <laughs> that worked out well. Okay, here we go, sprint two. Okay. I'm thinking maybe we could play a gate hand. If we're east and north is prevailing though, we have a pair of west here. Either way, we can just go ahead and discard these three. Let's see what happens. If nothing else, we can play a pair hand or a sequence hand. I like to keep honors when I get one suit, one suit with honors. There's all kinds of potential with that. We got a keeper here. 
we only have two tiles to pass. I think we should give up. Oh, look. One, two. We could play a dragon. Let's give up the east. Actually, let's give up the west because we could play a news hand. There's a six. And a north. Okay, so we ended up with one tile. Any number of hands here would work. So we could play, we have one, two, three pair. We could play Razzle, which is five pairs with news. That would be on the pair hand page, number 17. Razzle is number six. And then we could also potentially play Pung Chow, which would be all BAMs. We'd have to get rid of these. That would make five discards, which is not necessarily a good thing. But the other hand that I see potential for is Dragon Gates. Dragon Gates is on page 21, number 33. One suit with corresponding dragons. So BAMs go with uh, Green Dragon. 111 or 999 with a sequence of two through eight with one tile paired. The problem here is we'd have to discard two BAMs and the nine BAM. So I think probably what is going to be best here is Razzle. Let's just look at transitions really quick though, because there are news opportunities in transitions on page 19. Let's see, honorettes, Number 18, five pairs. Oh, no, no, that's five pairs of honors and terminals. Let's see here. Uh, newsy pungs or pungy news. Number 19 and 20, that's a duplicate. So three numbers punged in one suit with news. Here's one, two, three. I think that's probably going to be the hand. And that leaves four discards, which is really good, actually. If you can let yourself... If you can make decisions and the result is only four discards, that's a really good Charleston. Let's see, what's another option here? I think that's it. Newsy Pungs or Pungy News. If you would have done something differently, write Sprint 2 and what you would have done. So three is west. Okay, here we go. Last sprint. Okay, I'm thinking with these honors and all those dots, we could play one suit with honors, but we do have ones. I'm going to hold those for a potential. Oh, like numbers, not good. Let's give up one three dot. That way we can pass one of each suit and not pass like numbers. I'm thinking maybe we could play honors. There's a white dragon. And we have tiles to pass here. Two there. Here's a four. We just gave up a three. But look at, we're really close to uh, angels. Let's pass that four again. So far we've given up two dots. There's a green and a one. I think I would rather, oh, we're playing a double limit hand. I'm gonna risk passing like numbers. Let's see if we can get some more honors. Yep, south, nine crack. We have two discards for a double limit hand. Now we're not gonna be able to probably keep all of these, but I'm thinking heavenly twins. Heavenly twins is a double limit concealed hand on page 26. That would be number 76, seven pairs of honors including terminals, winds and dragons. So we have one, two, three pair. There is also a hand called termination. No, 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 not termination. Which one has one terminals in one suit? We have two pairs of honors. Trade winds is number 70. It's four, four pungs of uh, winds and dragons with a pair of terminals. Here's a pair of terminals. There's also something in here with ones and nines. I think that's a date hand. 
Let's just look at that. I thought there was something with ones and nines in each in a suit. Ones and nines. Where is that? Ones and nines. Maybe it is a hint. Where is that? Okay, number 62, honorable hash. Ones and nines of each suit with four pairs of Windsor Dragons. There's a pair, there's a pair, and we have one nine, one nine, and then not one and nine. There's a ways to go on that one. I thought there was a hand in here with a one and a nine in, in one suit. Maybe I'm just remembering from a past publish. I would love one day to play number 73 on page 26, Dragon's Breath. Pungs of each dragon, pung of one cracks, and a pair of east winds. Look at that. We got the one, we got the east, we got all the dragons. There's only one triple limit hand of honor, dragon wick. Three pungs of dragons, one pung of owner prevailing wind. West, we're east, so we'd have to throw away a pair of souths. But that would be, um, yeah, challenging. We don't have the pairs in here yet. But in this case, I think I would play Heavenly Twins. If you would have done something different there, let me know. Just write Sprint 3 and what you would have done differently. That was fun. And I love playing Hands of Honors. Oh, double limit. That was a nice turnout on that last one. Let's see how things went with time though. Sprint one, one minute 37. Sprint two, one minute 15. Sprint three, one minute 22. I made it, but I did play all my favorite categories. I need to remember when I have news to check transitions and when I have dragons to check date hands. Those are the two things that I tend to miss. And then sometimes I forget about gate hands, but you've got to have those gates and it's very situational for that category. So all in all, I think it was a good, a good set of exercises. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try and let me know if it improves your game. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Sprints, using Wright-Patterson Mahjong rules, may all your picks be keepers.